today about how Americans just love a good sex scandal. They like it in the terms of crime and punishment. We can see that, especially in our political realm and also in the case of, of religious figures. Um, I think that what really animates the entire idea of, of the sex scandal is more than, say, a Dantesque purgatory or inferno where you have crime and you have punishment and you have the punishment fitting the crime. I think that in American political discourse, there's a little bit more than that going on. And let's think about in the case of, say, Governor Spitzer in New York being um, the person who prosecuted prostitution rings now being caught up in his own scandal, having used prostitutes in theory, allegedly. But um, what's going on is, in essence, the case of the um, uh, crime and punishment, but also the active participation of the public in the de destruction, the open destruction and reconfiguration of power. So it's, it's a fantasy of the public to be able to disempower someone, especially someone who has been representing extreme and maybe absolute power or, or um, has been sort of a, a, um, an aggressive figure. The, public just relishes the idea of being able to participate, again, directly in that sort of process of, of disempowering and stripping away collectively. Now what that really represents to the, in the psyche of the, of the nation is that there's a disturbing lack of power and a sense of disenfranchisement so that, that this um, reveling and glorying in, in schadenfreude and malicious glee of somebody coming, falling low, it really is, is a, a reflection of perhaps our lack of, of power as, as an individual, as individuals in our nation, and the frustration of, of having um, lost our collective voice. So when we have this opportunity to jump on to the scandal, we can feel powerful. It's a vicarious power. The sad thing is, though, in the end, it just re it reinforces the little person's lack of power. So it's, it's an interesting double-edged sword. And of course, it's fed by the media. So American political discourse, everybody loves a good sex scandal.